Hey, what is up, guys? This is FNH here, and today I am going to be doing another programming algorithm today. All right, and this one is going to be about finding the largest and smallest values in an array. All right, in an array, I should say. Um, so this one's fairly simple, um, and it is a fairly common question that comes up in uh, um, you know interviews. Okay, so yeah, let's just get started. We want to first define, um, uh, I'll, I'll create a method. Um, so I have that class, but the class doesn't have anything. So largest and smallest. Um, and so in here, we want to pass in an integer array. OK, so let me just you know make some numbers up. Minus 43, 24, 0, 52. Two um, minus eleven, and then let's put like a big number. All right, so we have that. That's the array we're gonna pass in, and let's create the method. All right. So we have the method, and let me rename this to ARR, and let's define our method. All right. So the first thing we want to do is basically. Um, we want to define what the largest and smallest values are. This is probably the main part of the um, algorithm. Okay, so what we want to say is int largest equals int. So the largest we want to set set it to the min value, and the smallest we want to set it to the max value. Okay, and the I guess the logic behind that is basically if we're going to find the largest value, if we're going through the array, initially the largest value, whatever number we put in, should be the largest value. Okay. And, you know, so if we're going to compare is minus 43 greater than the largest value, um, no matter what the minus 43 is, that number will always be greater than the largest value, which is initially min value. Okay. So that's the logic behind that. And then the smallest one is max value, similar logic. You know, when you're on the first one, is what is the smallest value you have? You know, is the minus 43 less than max value? It always will be true. So it will set that to the smallest value also. All right. So now we just want to loop through the array. OK, so we can do int num in ARR. So for each number in the array, if num is greater than largest, we want to, what was that? Okay, we want to make largest equal to num. Okay, and so this will be another if, not an else. Okay, if num is less than smallest, we would make smallest equal to num. OK, and since we're not returning anything, I'll just print out the values. Console dot right line. Um, so, so largest. And now we'll do this to the smallest. OK, so we have this, which is printing out the largest <clears throat> and the smallest value. OK, so let's just run this. And you can see over here, the largest value is 5,432, and the smallest is minus 43. OK, so yeah, we have the largest and the smallest value correctly. OK, so alternatively, alternatively to this logic over here, we could technically set the, the largest and the smallest value to array sub 0, you know, so um, you know, you can do that also, but I, me personally, I, I just like this way better. Um, so yeah, that's just a personal preference. Uh, it does not make any difference in terms of performance, I believe, and in terms of um, 
optimization, it, it's pretty much the same. Okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments. You know, please leave them down below. I'd love to help you guys out. If you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.